Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. Please stick around and subscribe if you are not yet and let's get into today's video. I will be recreating this nail look that I found on Instagram and I really really like this page. I've been like obsessing over these looks of nails. So you can see here I'm just starting off with a clear coat as always just to protect my nails on the top and on the bottom. This is the design that I found and I said absolutely I have to try and do this and I said why not try and film it as I'm trying to recreate it and really I really do like this page because all of these designs I can like see them like on me they're like totally my style it's not the same shape as my nail but you can still do the um, design I don't have this exact pink that is shown on the picture it's like a bubblegum pink so what I did is I combined two pinks that I do have to try and get as close as I could to that same color so first I'm applying this light pink and it does have like a little sheen to it but with the other pink that I apply on top of it it kind of goes away so first I did the pink on my pinky middle and index fingers only and I am doing a French style tip design not the whole nail like it has in the picture As I'm allowing this first pink to dry, I am going in with a nude color for my ring and thumb. For these nails, I did go ahead and paint the whole nail. And here you see I am going in with that second pink. It's a more of a sheer pink. And on top of that first pink, I think it did work out. I don't know, it's it's close enough to me. I don't know, I, I like the pink. I ended up doing two coats of the sheer pink. And here now we're getting into the design of this whole uh, nail art thingy. I will be using this dotting tool that I got from Amazon that it has the dotting tool on one side and then the brush, a very thin brush on the other. I'm going in with a navy blue first and I'm going to be applying two dots towards the top of the nail and then flipping it over to the brush side and then just when it's still tacky, you touch the dots and then you just drag it in to the center like where they can kind of connect. This is how it just looked like in the picture for me. So that's what I was trying to do. And then I just used this same technique for the other colors. I ended up using a teal, a neon yellow, and a neon pink for my ring finger. And then in the picture, it does look like they have um, some gold glitter. I don't have a gold glitter nail polish, but I do have loose glitter. So I just mixed that in with a little bit of the clear polish and made my own like glitter polish. <laughs> and then it looked like in the picture, it was like a V. So it was like connecting two of the dots together and then making it like a V towards the top of the nail. I don't know. I didn't really like how this came out on me, but uh, whatever, it happened. And also in the picture, it looked like she did like two dots of the gold glitter, but I didn't want to do that with the glitter. So I ended up getting like these little jewel things that I have for the nails and I attached one to the top of the nail and one to the uh, towards the bottom of the nail. For the thumb, I did end up doing the same thing, except I did add another color because I had more space on it towards the bottom. Of the nail, I added a light pink and also I didn't add the glitter to the thumbs and I feel like I liked this a lot better than the ring finger with the glitter. But that is all basically me trying to recreate this nail look. All I had to do at the end is add my top coat to seal in the whole design. This is how they ended up looking and remember guys, I am very messy when I paint my nails. I don't mind getting it on the sides of my nails. If that bothers you, get a little q-tip and then clean it off with some nail polish remover. I just usually wait until the next day and it comes off naturally. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is my attempt at recreating that nail design look. I am overall satisfied and happy with how they turned out and I had fun doing it so I hope you guys enjoyed it also. Please don't forget to subscribe if you are not yet. Give this video a big thumbs up if you did enjoy and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye!